comrades. The time has come for us to discuss something of the utmost importance. It is here, on the threshold of the Abyss, that I must announce an important decision before you all. But first, we shall talk about you, Commander. About how well you have discharged the duties I entrusted to you. My righteous sister in faith, must these discussions take place now at such a moment? The enemy is watchful, and its forces are great. That is what we must turn our attention to, not scrutinizing our fellow Crusaders. In the hundred years that this war has lasted, not a day has gone by when I haven't thought about how we can win it. That is precisely why we cannot delay the conversation any longer. Lawful. You have my full attention, my queen. Your forbearance is most appreciated. The first and most glaring issue I'd like to discuss is how you have used the divine gift that was bestowed upon you. An aura of necromancy hangs over Dresden. My clerics and paladins tell me they have never seen anything like it, even in Geb. And its source is quite obvious. A commander's absolute priority is leading the Crusader armies. And I cannot help but notice that you have handled this part of your responsibilities well. I cannot but notice your strange choice of companions. The good gods teach us to seek the light even in the darkest soul, and to believe in redemption. But it is one thing to believe in the good intentions of a murderous succubus, and, for example, send her to a temple of Desna to be cared for by experienced priests. But it is another matter entirely to take the demon with you to the front lines where one well-timed stab in the back could put a tragic end to our entire Crusader cause. It is unthinkably reckless. With all due respect, my lady, Arushale has proven herself to be a faithful and reliable comrade. She has fought bravely for us, and we both want to see the demons defeated. Is there any reason to reproach the commander for accepting her into our party? You can find reasons aplenty in any Mendevian cemetery, Sela. Each one is full of the graves of those who were deceived by demons. Intimidate. Let me remind you that you were the one who assigned Nora Dindawar to my entourage, who turned out to be a Baphomet cultist. So which of us is incapable of choosing worthy companions? A fair reproach. Let's hope Arushale will stand head and shoulders above Nora. I also wish to mention what you did with Iomade's banner, the Sword of Valor. This sacred relic handed to you to defend the city against the demons has become a reflection of you. I do not know how you managed to distort its features, but I cannot overlook it. I only pray that Iomade will forgive us all for this most improper treatment of her relic. That is all I wish to say. And now, to summarize. You can think my assessment is empty fault-finding, but I am responsible for the entire Crusade, for Mendev, and for the future of those who have encountered or will encounter the evil of the World Wound. I do not have the luxury of making a single mistake. You hear the Ring of Steel in the Queen's voice. That is why I am forced to remove you from the command of the Fifth Crusade. This is how you thank me for everything I've done? Throughout the Queen's entire speech, Darren is silent, but his silence is more expressive than an entire crowd yelling profanities. This is why I always take payment up front. The customers become very shifty when everything is done. I deeply respect the desire to bring discipline to the Crusades, but not all the accusations you leveled at the Commander are guided by that desire. My righteous sister, you are entitled to make such a decision, but please reconsider whether this is the right one. He is not just the Crusade Commander. He is our hope. Our only hope. Our only hope is he? I see you do not value me or the other heroes of the Crusade very highly, my righteous brother and comrade. But let me continue. Do not take your demotion as a punishment. I have in many respects been forced to take this step. As we all know, the demons have created a new weapon, Mahindrian crystals, which provide them with truly mythical powers. 
We managed to remove the threat temporarily, but not eliminate its source. Thanks to the book recovered from Aureli Vorlish's laboratory, we know that the rift before us cannot be closed until the first and main rift is closed. The one that lies in the Threshold Fortress. So, for the safety of Dresden, I shall have to destroy all the exits out of the Midnight Fane, and block everything here so that demons coming through this indestructible rift cannot descend upon Dresden again. This is a forced measure. I am doing it for the safety of the city.